All right, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Casalig and Vlogs. And today we'll be talking about miscellaneous substitution, which is integration of rational functions of sine x and cos x. And this is integral calculus. So we have here miscellaneous substitutions. So we have here, if the integrand is a rational function of trigonometric functions, we could make use of these substitutions or the value for our z. For sine x, this is the value for our sine x, cos x, dx. And this will give an integrand which is a rational z. All right. So simply here, example number one, the integral of dx, 1 plus cos x. Okay. So first is we have to integrate here. So by the integration, we have to substitute the value for r uh, here dx. The value for our dx is 2dz over 1 plus z squared. And the value for our cos x is 1 plus 1 minus z squared over z squared. 1 plus z squared. So copy here. 2dz over 1 plus z squared over, you have to take the Oh, LCD, so 1 plus z squared, 1 plus 1 minus z squared. So cancel this part. So the remaining is 2. Okay, so we have 2 here. So take the reciprocal here is 2 dz over 1 plus z squared. And we have to take the reciprocal. We have 1 plus z squared over 2. Cancel, 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 cancel. So the remaining is the integral of dz. So the integral of dz is equal to z plus c. So therefore, the value for our z is equal to tan x over 2 plus c. So that's it for number 1. So let's proceed now with number 2. In number 2, we have here dx, the integral of dx over 1 plus sine x plus cos x. Okay, so the first thing is we have to find for the value for our dx. 2dz over 1 plus z squared over 1 plus, what is the value for our sine x, which is 2z over 1 plus z squared times Oh no, plus rather plus, this is plus, still plus plus, cos x 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared. Okay, so still we have to copy 2z, 2dz over 1 plus z squared over, so we have here the reciprocal which is 1 plus z squared. So 1 plus z squared copy here 1 plus z squared plus 2z as the LCD minus 1 plus 1 minus z squared. So cancel this part. Okay, so the remaining here is 2z, 2dz over 1 plus z squared over this would become okay. Okay, so this will become 2 plus 2z over 1 plus z squared. So take the reciprocal here, 2dz over 1 plus z squared times the reciprocal which is 1 plus z squared over the factor of this one is 2, 1 plus 2z, uh, 1 plus z. Rather, 1 plus z. Cancel this 2 and cancel this part. So the integral of dz over 1 plus z. Or z plus 1 or 1 plus z. So we have to let u is equal to z plus 1 here. Our du is equal to dz. So therefore we have integral of du over u that is equal to ln u 
plus C. So we have here L end of Z plus one plus C. So what is the value for Z? L end of tan X over two plus one then plus C. So that's it for number two. Okay, so moving on to number three, the integral of sec x dx. Okay, so sec is equivalent to the integral of 1 over cos x dx. Alright, so the integral of this part, you have to take the integral, so 1 over 1 minus z squared, 1 plus z squared times the value for dx is 2 dz over 1 plus z squared. Okay. So we have to take the reciprocal of this part. So we have here 1 over you know, 1 plus z squared, 1 minus z squared. Take the reciprocal times 2 dz over 1 plus z squared. So cancel this part. So the remaining is 2 dz over 1 minus z squared. Okay, so simplify further. So 2 dz over 1 minus z squared. So in this case, we have our u is equal to z and a is equal to 1. So du is equal to dz. So by the use of inverse trigonometric function, so this is the equivalent for this one is 1 over 2a l end of a plus u over a minus u plus c. So therefore, we have 2 times 1 over 2, the value for a is 1. Okay, this is 1. L end of what is our A? 1 plus U is Z over 1 minus Z plus C. So cancel this part. So we have LN 1 plus what is the value for Z? Tan X over 2 over 1 minus tan X over 2 then plus c so this is the value for r number three okay ln of one plus tan x over two one minus tan x over two plus c so moving on to number four so in number four we have the value dx over the integral of dx over sine x plus cos x plus three so first is we have to find for the value for dx. The value for dx is 2dz over 1 plus z squared. Our sine x is 2z over 1 plus z squared plus 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared. Then plus 3. So this is the value for sine cos. Alright, and this is for dx here. So we have here to take the reciprocal LCD rather. So LCD of 1 plus z squared. So this is 2z plus 1 minus z squared plus multiply it here 3 plus 3z squared. So simplify what to cancel here. So integral of 2dz over to cancel. Okay. Wait, uh, we have to look for how to cancel this part. We have 2z squared plus 2z and plus 4 over Oh no, this is over 1 plus z squared 
and 1 plus c squared. So cancel this part. So the remaining is mm -hmm, the integral of dz to dz over factor is 2 z squared plus 2z plus 2. Okay. Alright, well, no 2z rather because it's factored. So cancel the integral of dz over z squared plus z plus 2. So next we have to complete the square here by the use of inverse trigonometric involving quadratic equations. So dz over z squared plus z plus the unknown plus 2 plus the unknown. So one half of this one that's equal to one half on one half of one that is one half squared that is one fourth and we have to add it by minus one fourth okay so deduct and plus so what is uh, two minus one fourth two minus one fourth is we have seven over four okay but use a calculator seven four so dz is equal to z plus 1, 1 half, rather, z plus 1 half squared plus 7 over 4. So how to find for our u here? Our u is equal to z plus 1 half. Our a is the square root of 7 over 2, right? The square root of 7 because we are going to take the square of this. So, square root of 7 over 2. Okay, and this is du is equal to dz. Okay, so why is it square root? Because this is a squared plus b squared. I have to square this both here and square root of this part. So if you're going to if, if you want to get the square root of this one, the square root of seven over two. Okay. So this part is tangent. So tangent is one over a inverse tangent of u over a plus c. What is our a? Square root of seven over two inverse tangent of what is our u 7 at z plus 1 half over right here over raise square root of 7 over 2 then plus c so we have here 2 squared of 7 uh, inverse tangent. Okay, so we have to take the reciprocal of this part. Okay. Inverse tangent, we have 2z plus 1 over 2 square root of 7 over 2. Cancel. Then plus c. 2 square root of 7 inverse tangent. We have 2z plus 1 over z, uh, square root of 7 rather, then plus c. What is the value for our z? Our z is 10. 1 half x or x over 2 rather so 2 square root of 7 inverse tangent of 2 inverse tangent of uh, 2 tan x over 2 plus 1 over the square root of 7 plus c 
So do not forget to write plus C in every problem. 2 square root of 7 inverse tangent of 2 times 2 tangent x over 2 plus 1 over the square root of 7 plus C. Right? So let's have try this. Evaluate the following. Integral of dx 4 plus 2 sine x and integral of dx 4 plus cos x. Use the concept about miscellaneous substitution. Thank you so much for listening and hope everyone you enjoy the moment and please do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos to come. Thank you and God bless. This is Casaligan Blogs.